Hello and welcome, my unfortunate looking people. It's SJB here, playing Canyon Plateau's Heroic Challenge. So this is six elite waves of awesomeness with only one life. One mistake is your doom. So I'm going to set you guys up real quick like. I'm going to go for a crossbow here. I'm going to go for a uh, flame spitter here. We're going to go for a quick rocket gunner over here. A mage tower over here, another crossbow over here, a barracks tower here and here to make sure nobody sneaks through our defense ever. And then lastly, one more barracks tower over here to uh, to, to get this all flowing together. This is the start. I'm going to leave three spots open, kind of depending on what I'm, I'm going to do here. And of course, we're going to upgrade to a quick crossbow up to fourth here for both these sides. And eventually we're going to go for scrap bomb and final nail on both of these guys. That is the plan. Now, I'm going to go for uh, Vesper up at the top here to kill the spiders, and we're going to let Nauru deal with the Acolytes, because these guys have a slight bit of MR. Um, but this is the basic plan. We can always move people around as we see fit, you know, if we want to, like, make sure that you can, like, stop them over here. But believe it or not, over here is probably a little bit better of a spot for right now. Just make this kind of the choke point against the Dwarf and Flames better. We can always adjust accordingly, of course. In addition, we do have the uh, range here for these rocket riders to go here. Eventually over here, I think you can't do it yet. And eventually over here, which, oh, we can do it right now, which is kind of cool. All right, everything is come together. Oh, perfect like. And in addition, uh, I assume that we're gonna have everything coming out against us eventually. And I, I assume that this thing is gonna turn on. Uh, and we're gonna have some portal stuff happening here, which is not always fun. Oh, we're ready for the next wave. Let's just go. All right, so like I said, we like scrap bombs. So I build scrap bombs. I'm a scrap bomb kind of guy. Can I shoot? Mm, not perfectly. I shoot okay. Shoot good enough. Glarelings, though. I don't know if they're going to be a problem unless they, like, really get crazy with the glareling action. I don't I don't expect that, though. Ooh, we got a Shackler already. That's cool. <laughs> All right. A level 2, wave 2 Shackler. Nothing wrong with that. All right, we're going to reinforce again. And I do want to get the scrap bombs, but I also want to go for the final nails here as well. So, final nail, red hot nail, same freaking thing, man. Portal's active still, but I got a big bundle of guys right here, ready to kill it all. Boom. Take them down, boys. Take them down. Is there something going on over here? I like, do something here? There's no achievements on Heroic and Iron Challenges, which is kind of sad, actually. You get one for completing them all! But no real action overall. All right, we've got the Cult Acolyte times 20. Let's go. All right, we got more spiders in the back back here. Flame Spitter's doing an okay job, but we're still going to need some reinforcements to block uh, last spider from sneaking through. Two spiders from sneaking through. Three spiders from sneaking through? Gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh, here we go. Nauru, get over there. Vesper, get over there. And it's finally time... Uh, no, let's get the final nail first. Let's just do it. Final nail. There it is. So, uh, I do want to upgrade my magic eventually. These guys have high armor. Uh, it can also help us out to move these guys over here if I get the money for it, but I don't have the money yet. I think I'd, I'd better rather focus on the magic first instead. Um, these, I don't want to say they're late game units, but they work better when you get the group to attack off them, which is usually a late-ish game thing. So, yeah, let's go magic for now. Looking good. Naru's got his fairy sentinels going right now. One quick nightmare to take. One quick nightmare to take down. Looks good. And we're about halfway done already. Oakley Oakley. So, admittedly, I'm a little bit afraid of, uh, I think flying units are probably going to come out soon. It's the way they like to roll against me. They get me all set up to be like, Chris, build the artillery, bro. Build all the art artillery you can afford. And then they send out flaw. No, no flying units yet. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. I'll get magic first, because there's a freaking crystal gold coming out. So we're going to move Vesper back. Uh, we'll let Nauru stay over here to help out against the crystal gold. And realistically, what I want to do is I want them to get in range of uh, uh, this mage tower, basically. So that's going to be my goal. A whole goal. Okay, a lot of guys over here, believe it or not. Like, more than there should be. Hmm. We got some blocking action happening over here. Flame Spitter is doing an absolutely wonderful job, by the way. Like stupendous job. We got a lot of guys here. We're just gonna go for a quick ability. Um, I want more magic though. I need an arcane wizard to take this golem down. I wouldn't say I need it, but I want it. Definitely want it. All right, here we go. Arcane wizard is up. Uh, if I got a disintegrate, that would be even better. 
Dang, that was a big one. All right, and we got some flying guys coming out here soon. So this is actually, uh, I'm gonna wait. I don't, and I almost never wait, but I'm, I'm gonna wait today. This is, uh, this is a problem. Listen We've got a uh, crystal golem here with uh, stuff left, and there's about to be flying units coming out. So we're gonna move Vesper down here for a quick second to stall, and I'm gonna have to go for an extra mage tower, crossbow, mage tower combo. And then we're gonna move Vesper back up to the top here to shoot, or whoever, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Whoever wants to, to shoot up here. I'm ready to go. Okay. All these reinforcements right here to, uh, uh, I didn't realize they were going to go this way. I thought they were going to go down here, too. That's actually kind of lame. Oh, baby, we got a freaking, uh, a Tame Stalker coming here as well. But luckily, the, uh, final nail here is great against these flying units. So here we go. We're going to do a, a little bit of stalling with these guys. And then I'm just going to use Nuru's ability here. There's a lot of guys on top of each other. All right, looks like there's two of them still alive here. Um, got teleports. Yeah, okay. And Vesper, of course, I gotta run back to the side. All right, arrows over here. Um, I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna upgrade this again. Uh, and we're gonna have to use our reinforcements here, I guess. It didn't matter either way. All right, flying in us, though. Definitely a rough thing. And we got another crystal golem coming in here as well. Where the heck's Naru? Naru, where are you at, bro? Yo, oh, you're in the top. Being all worthless over there. I'm actually ready for you to do some big damage here. So again, I actually want this guy to get over to my mage tower. I I, I want it, which is kind of weird. You know, I got enough guys here. Let's go for a quick uh, 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 thing. And then I, I think I'm afraid of... Is there no flying just coming out this wave? I think there wasn't. Let's go for the flame spitter. Put the flame spitter up uh, nice and high here. I got another quick ability. I got everybody working together here. This is looking nice. Scrap bombs, arcane wizard. I mean, this guy's got almost 3,000 health, though. That is pretty ridiculous, to say the least. I think a disintegrate might be in order if I can make the money happen. I mean, I'd, I think I'd rather the flame spitter, but maybe I don't need the flame spitter. Maybe I need the uh, the obliterate. I'm gonna move these guys to the back here. I got a lot of guys in the back. We're gonna have to move uh, uh, Naru to the back here as well and just upgrade barracks, guys, to keep these guys on the screen for just a little bit longer. Okay, just keep them on the screen. We're just gonna keep on upgrading barracks units. Okay, we do end up stalling long enough. We got a lot of guys bundled up here. Crystal Golem's finally dead. That was the hardest part for us. Don't forget, we still got a teleport here if we need it. And. Uh, I am going to go Flame Spinner. There's a, there's a lot of group units here. They really forced it on you in a weird way because they're like, guess what? There's going to be flying units, Chris. There's going to be freaking flying units. But right after that, we sent out crap tons of group units all over the place. Now right, we got some arrows here as well. These guys have been worthless for me. I have not used them, utilized them properly at all. Finally, we get some abilities, though. That's good news. We're going to go double dosing on the uh, Blazing Trail here. And we got another set of arrows to use. Heal all our guys up. Looks good. A lot of grouped attack damage here across the board. We're going to move these guys back up a little bit closer to the front. we got a big group attack here. Shoot them from a distance. Flame Spitter hopefully will start to shoot over here soon. And that will be the, the difference here for us. Oh, yeah. There we go. Once he shoots out a blazing trail, these guys are doomed. Cub Bluey! Doomed to smithereens. All right, so if I could adjust anything here, I would definitely not build the rocket riders. I think that they were inefficient for me, and uh, uh, I'd probably try to get a disintegrate a little quicker as well. Other than that, I think this is a pretty solid strat. Um, if you guys enjoyed, press the like button, subscribe, and have a super duper delicious day.